G'day, it's Pete here and I'm back for Hand of the Week. Now, this hand came from a state night competition that I played in and it was my very first backwash squeeze. So, first of all, what is a backwash squeeze? It's a very, like, rare kind of squeeze. Uh, I had to ask someone uh, what kind of squeeze did I pull off because I wasn't really sure. But basically what you're doing is you're squeezing one opponent uh, that usually... Pl like plays after the threat card and you don't think that you can actually squeeze them except you squeeze them in two suits and also trumps because they've got a really good trump so anyway uh let's jump in um but before we do can you also believe that this happened in a doubled slam no oh, good it didn't so i was just testing you uh, it was actually a lot more mundane than that it was for a part score and i went off in my part score but all those uh, reducing under tricks, it's really valuable. So I hope you uh, enjoy this hand. So let's jump into it. So we're playing match points and it goes pass, pass to me. So I've got this 10 count, which uh, I wouldn't usually open, but I'm in third seat and I'm not vol. So you could consider opening a club, but I really just wanted a heart lead because we're playing match points. So I opened one heart. I went three diamonds on my left and my partner raised to three hearts. And that went all past. This was not the ideal auction that I was hoping for. But here we are in three hearts. And we get the Ace of Diamonds lead. Okay, so Dummy comes down with a 10 count. Um, so, can't fault uh, my partner for the bidding. Not that I would want to. But uh, here, when I look at this, I look and go, Oh, I am going so far down, this isn't funny. I've got three club losers at least i've got two diamond losers at least i've got ace king fourth heart ops at 10 thirds i've at least got one heart loser if not more so it looks like uh down two would be absolutely best but it looks more like you'll lose three clubs you'll lose two diamonds you'll lose two hearts at least um, it doesn't actually look very pretty so um you know uh, I, if I looked at my winners, I've got like two heart winners and I can probably get two or three spade winners. So like five tricks down four is also in the market. So somewhere between down two and down four, it looked like I was going for. Anyway, uh, we, they started with a diamond and went 10. And they now thought for a while and surprisingly they came out a low diamond. I'm not sure how they knew that their partner um, had the singleton. They might have been playing... Uh, low in courage, or um, I can't remember what signals that they're playing, but uh, they're not playing natural count, that's for sure. Um, anyway, uh, he worked out his partner had the singleton, so it went jack and their partner roughed, which actually wasn't too bad for me. Uh, and now it went a low club, unsurprisingly, to the queen and the king of diamonds. And my right hand opponent shelled at that, and I trumped in. So at this stage, uh, I still have two more club losers, and I've lost three tricks. I still have a heart loser no matter what. Um, but uh, So I started with ace of hearts, and then king of hearts. And hearts broke. Um, so one person's got the remaining heart, not exactly sure who it is, if it's west or east. But on the diamonds, I do know west had seven diamonds. So at this stage, I started cashing two spades, and I wanted to be in my hand. So I played a spade to the uh, queen, and the spade, and my right-hand opponent put in the ten, and king. And at this stage, I now know a, a fair bit about this hand. Um, I know my left-hand opponent has two hearts. I know they've got two spades, and they've shown up with one club and seven diamonds, so they have one more card out there. But also, after they roughed in on the diamond, East led a low club towards the queen. Now, what that means is that East didn't underlead the ace-king in clubs. That would be a really strange thing to do. They'd bang down the ace-king and give their partner a rough. So I know West has another club, and it's a club on it, either the ace or the king. So they've got uh, a bunch of diamonds and a club. That gives my right-hand opponent one heart, two spades, and two clubs. So I can't just play a spade and hope that spades break, because I know what the shape is at the moment. So I just exited a club, hoping to get a rough and discard. So I went club, and 
to the king and we'll open it up here. So this, I reckon, gets really interesting at this point. Uh, so East, I think, does better to win the Ace of Clubs and draw the Trump. So if they win the Ace of Clubs, draw the Trump, they can then lock me and dummy for a spade trick. So they, they have an option here. But they didn't want to set up the Jack of Clubs, so they played low. And now what happens, when the diamond gets led, because West only has diamonds left, I discard a club, and East gets squeezed in clubs, spades, and hearts. If they discard a club, I just trump and play a club, throwing away my spade loser. If they throw a spade away, I just play a sp I trump and play a spade to the ace and a spade, forcing them to rough and get my trump trick. And if they trump in, uh, I just throw a club away and then cross rough the hand. So here, East gets squeezed. They've got uh, the winning trump. Their hand is really, really good at this stage. Uh, but uh, they chose to throw away a spade. So I roughed in, played a spade towards the ace. And then my final spade and East just trumped in. And we get the ace. Uh, the ten of hearts left. So all in all, I went one down and scored in about seventy-five percent, bit under that, uh, for three hearts down one. It definitely looked like it was going to be a lot worse than that. I was the only player that uh, was playing in hearts. Uh, everyone else was uh, playing. Uh, let's bring the board back up. Definitely did look like I was going to go much more off than that. And if they did beat me too, I would have scored about 35-40%. Most people were in two diamonds making two. Some people were in three diamonds making, even though three diamonds can be beaten. Um, but the vast majority of people went positive east-west. So here, east went ace of diamonds, and they worked out their partner had a singleton, gave them a rough. That was actually with a natural trump trick, so they kind of compressed a diamond trick there. But it seems kind of normal to go ace of diamonds, low diamond, rather than ace of diamonds, king of diamonds, diamond. So it's hard to like fault them for giving their partner a rough and then getting in with the club and playing another diamond. They also could have overtaken the ace of clubs if they realized what was going to happen. Um, they could have prevented themselves getting <laughs> squeezed like that, but uh, it's not obvious to overtake your partner's club winner because you know they're going to give you rough and discard, which also then squeezes you. So <laughs> they didn't think that far ahead, but they could have uh, gotten it one more by overtaking the Ace of Clubs. So, hope you enjoyed this hand. I thought it was pretty cool. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.